One of the things I always do after every Tesla takeover is I do a post-event survey just to gauge what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. And I always get feedback, and I always incorporate that feedback into the next year's takeover. So last year, a request came is we want more technical content. And so that's what we've done. We brought in some technical uh, some, some sessions here. So this is one of them. So this is Tech Talk. And it's on a topic that is uh, probably about the most important part of your car, which is the tires. We get tons of questions on the Tesla owners of Silicon Valley community boards about tires. Like, hey, my tires are going bald. What, should, what kind of tires should I get? What brand? Should it have foam, no foam? So that's why we invited Michelin to come. They are, they are our official tire sponsor of Tesla Takeover. And we are joined by two tire experts. Um, so give it up for, um, there we go, Russell Shepard, Technical Communications Director, and Carl Driver, who is the brand manager for electric vehicles. So give it up. Thanks for having us. Good afternoon. So I'm Russell Shepard. I've been with Michelin for about 25 years. I'm a technical communications director, but uh, mostly I'm an engineer. Most of my career with Michelin has been in engineering. And so what I'm here today to talk about as part of our talk is why tires matter to electric vehicles and why electric vehicles matter to tires. Carl? Thanks, Russell. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Carl Driver, and I am the brand manager for electric vehicles, as Kelvin said. I've been with the company about 20 years. Uh, I did tire design for about 10 years, and uh, now I'm into the marketing. So uh, we're going to start with a little bit of technical, and then we're going to dive into the choices for EV tires for your replacement. Next slide. So there are three common points of discussion we get uh, when we talk about tires and electric vehicles. And I'll tell you a little bit about why they matter. The first one I will talk about is called rolling resistance. It affects the range of an electric vehicle. Simply put, tires consume energy when you roll them. And it's very important, more and more important on an electric vehicle. The reason why is because about 70% of the energy that an internal combustion engine generates is lost before it ever gets to the road. On an electric vehicle, that's flipped. And about 70% of the energy that's produced by the batteries gets to the motor and on the tires. And so since the vehicle is so much more efficient, the efficiency of the tire becomes important. And so you can notice a difference in the range of your, of your electric vehicle based off the tires you pick. And we'll talk a little bit more about the range of that, but there are certain technologies and ways that we design tires to make them consume less energy. Here's a thing you may not know. When you buy a new tire, uh, you, you buy a vehicle with a new tire, over time, obviously, the tire wears, and it goes down in tread depth. As the tread depth decreases, the rolling resistance of the tire gets better, and so the range of the vehicle gets better. Why? Because a lot of the rolling resistance of a tire comes from a tread. So at the end of the life of the tire, you probably have better rolling resistance than you did in the beginning. Why does this matter? Because if you put the exact same tire on and it's new, you can see a 4% 4 4 difference in your range, the exact same tire. And what it is is that over time your range got better, your rolling resistance went down, you put a new tire on, you're back to a full tread depth. So that's something to keep in mind. We get questions about that or feedback. If you put the same tire on, you may notice the difference. And really what that's doing is it's putting you back to the range that you had when you first had that tire brand new. Russell, is that a phenomenon for just Michelin or all tires? Yeah, that's a good question. That is a phenomenon of physics. So all tires, okay? So no matter what tire you have on, you put that exact same tire on new, you may notice a 4% difference, okay? And I've actually done studies. It's a fact whether or not that matters to you, that's, that's, a, that's a choice to make. And we can talk about some of the choices later. Is, the, has anyone actually noticed that? Have you seen your range get better? With, 
Okay. So we, we got at least one person. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, the next is let's talk about the noise. So again, it's, it's pretty simple. You take uh, an internal combustion engine out in a transmission, you replace it with motors, and the vehicle is quieter. And because the vehicle is quieter, you notice the exterior no noise and the road noise more. And so electric vehicles, drivers of electric vehicles can perceive noise a little bit more. There are a couple of different things that are done to take this into account. Um, Tesla vehicles, the tires that are originally equipped, they have a foam in them. Michelin calls this acoustic foam. All the other, other tire manufacturers that are homologated, uh, that have tires that come with that vehicle, they have this type of foam. That type of foam is for a specific type of noise. It's called cavity noise. And it is the noise you get when you're on the road and you go across regular joints and you get this kind of pinging sound. The best way to describe it is if you take a basketball and you put a lot of air in it, you get this boing, boing, boing. You'll notice that a little bit when you go across joints. And that foam is specifically designed to reduce that type of noise. The other type of noise that vehicles have is called tread pattern noise. It's the noise of the tread pattern as it goes across the road. What Michelin does is we have blocks that are specifically designed and arranged to reduce that noise. Each Michelin tire has at least three different block lengths. If you come to our booth, I can show you on any one of those tires three different block lengths. And we do that so that we can optimize those and reduce the noise. We call it piano noise, noise tuning. It's basically, instead of playing the same note several times, you throw three different notes and try to create something that's a little bit smoother. Um, that's on all Michelin tires. So my point here is, there are technologies that are in all Michelin tires that are naturally there to make a tire quieter. There's an additional technology that some tires have, particularly for Teslas, called acoustic foam, that dampens that particular noise. And you see that on road joints. If you don't have that in your drive, you probably won't know the difference. But that's an important thing to keep in mind. Last but not least is wear. Electric vehicles, they are heavier. You take the engine out and the transmission out, but the batteries make it heavier. They're a little bit lower, so it lowers the center of gravity. It's part of what gave, gives it that great handling feel, but they're heavier. And because of that, one thing we do is the, uh, typically the inflation pressure is a little bit higher. On a Model 3, the inflation pressure is 42 PSI. Uh, most tires on that, cars on that same tire would be lower. So that increased weight just simply means the tire will wear faster. All things equal. The other things, such as the increased torque, I can tell you Michelin, we know how to design for torque. We design for high performance vehicles lug, um, for the past 30 or 40 years. So the increased torque, we know how to design for that. We also design for F250s and 350s, so we understand torque. Um, but the fact that the tires are heavier, that the vehicle's heavier means the tires wear faster. It's just you're putting more stresses in the contact patch, it wears faster. If that's a concern for you, we'll talk about it in a minute. We have products that are designed for greater wear. There's some other things about the vehicle settings that can also exaggerate the wear rate, and we can talk about that a little bit more. So those are the three things. Um, the, because the tire is heavier, there's, um, there are certain electric vehicles that have high-low capacity tires, and that allows you to have even more weight on the tire than the current standards. I don't think that's the case for Teslas, but in certain cases that exists. So there are really three things. There's the rolling resistance, and that impacts the range. There is the noise, and the roll the tires make in, in giving you a quiet ride. And then there's the wear, the, the fact that the vehicles are heavier, and the technologies we put in place to try to deal with that. Any, is that clear? Any questions on that? Because now we're going to talk about what products we have available to try to, to deal with the, some of that. And what I'll say before we go to that is, what you see is we have a product offer, and it's geared towards the OE needs, which are primarily efficiency for range and noise. And then we have other options um, that give you uh, other performances, privilege, like um, wear. And so what tire is the right tire for you? It depends on who you are. Carl? 
Thank you, Russell. Just a quick point on the high load that you referenced. I noticed there's a few lucids out there. If you'll go take a look at that, you'll see on the sidewall of the tire to say HL and the size and then XL. So if you want to see what that actually looks like, uh, go take a look at that 21 inch lucid. But uh, thank you, Russell. Um, yeah, no, so as Russell said, we make tires for as original equipment that come on the vehicle for many manufacturers. Uh, most of the EVs, we are, we're proud to say that we equip more than eight out of 10 manufacturers of EVs in the US. Um, <clears throat> we also have a broad range or a, an extensive line for, of replacement offers. So quick question, uh, for those of you who have changed your tires um, on your EV, how many went back to the same tire that was on the vehicle? 20%, 25%, okay. For those who did not put the same tire, did you stay with the same brand by chance? Does anyone know? Couple, okay. And then I guess the rest of you chose to go to a different type of tire or brand of tire, okay. So with Michelin, we, you know, we like Russell said, we, we give you the choice. If you like the original equipment tire, if Michelin was the original supplier, um, you have that option. With the original equipment tire, you're gonna be focused on range and noise. That's the, the mission of that tire in general. Um, if we were not OE and you still prioritize those performances, we have offers in our Primacy family and our Pilot Sport EV uh, as well. So we have offers outside of that. <clears throat> if you have, um, let me ask this question. How many people care about where? Yeah. Not, not, not quite 100%, but there's a few people like with two hands in the room, back of the room. Yeah, that's at least half. Yeah. So where is very important to EV owners. And, and Russell, I'm going to let you jump back in for a second, but why do EVs wear tires faster? You may have touched on it already, right. but just reinforce that. So simply, quite simply, um, for the same size tire, EVs are heavier. And what I mean by that is there is a maximum load that a tire will take for that size. And then there's the maximum load of the vehicle. And the difference between the maximum load of the tire and the maximum load of the vehicle is, is a lot closer for electric vehicles. They use more of that load capacity, okay? And so the tires wear faster. And we understand that. And that's why we have products that are designed for that. We just for our, our maximum range, it's the Defender family. For a passenger car, that's an 80,000 mile warranty. It's the Defender 2, we're launching it now. Why did the Defender 2, what's the, the biggest difference between the Defender 2 and the previous generation? Anybody wanna guess what it is? You probably won't be wrong. So the previous tire we had was the Defender T plus H. Yes. And this is the new generation we launched uh, late last year. Yes. So. Any, has, guess, any guesses? Any yeah. guesses on what we did to make it better? More wear. So it, it had an 80,000 mile warranty. It has an 80,000 mile warranty. But we put 20 to 30% more wear in it. Why did we do that? For you. So our goal is to make our tires EV compatible. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're making sure that we give you that same great promise whether you have an EV or not. And so that tire gives you 20% more wear. And we're fairly comfortable. We've done testing on a Model 3 that you'll get, a large majority of you get the 80,000 miles in that tire. So that's the full extreme over there. Okay. Thank you, Russell. And then going across the uh, chart from ultimate wear to ultimate traction, we have our next family called the Cross Climate, uh, Cross Climate family, Cross Climate. Um, anybody, else? we've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of them on your vehicles. Has any, anybody have those? Can you raise the hands of who has the cross climate? I hear you love it. We've heard a lot of great comments about it today. So this tire um, is going to give you, I think it's a 60,000 mile warranty, yeah. uh, good wear, uh, but it has the added advantage of, of, of what we call three peak mountain snowflake. So all winter tires have this marking. It's a requirement that you pass the so that you can uh, use that in the winter where it's required to be used. Um, so we, we like to call it, it's the ultimate all season tire because it has the same marking as a winter. So that's the tire you can put on there and drive year round. If you live here in California, but you want to go to Lake Tahoe, you don't have to change your tires or fill 
uncomfortable of can you make it if you get a snowstorm. So it's a great all-around tire, even if you don't think you'll need to use that winter capability. It does a lot of um, good things for both, for both wet and dry traction as well. But, but I'll, I'll say about that, that tire, I have four cars in my driveway. Two of them have that, that tire. And I live in South Carolina and I don't see a lot of snow because it, it's going to give you at least 60,000 miles. When we talk to EV consumers, they're getting around 60,000 miles on that tire. And it's great in all weather, including wet. So even if you say, I, I don't care about the three big mountain snowflake, I don't care about the winter rating, that's still a fantastic tire. Plus the tread pattern looks cool as heck. <laughs> yeah. That's Chevron pattern. But uh, yes, yeah, so, so moving on to our next tire, Pilot Sport family. Any fans of our Pilot Sport? Four S's or all season fours? Yeah, yeah. That tire's been out, uh, the four S's launched in 2017. The all season four we launched in 2021 or 2020 during COVID. So been around. Uh, those are our what we more of our sporty traction. So if you like to take curbs fast, uh, this these are these are you know getting to the ultimate grip type of tires. So quarter very well, handle very well. But uh, you may go, you may say, well, I don't need a performance tire. Well, think about braking. Braking is a performance. So these tires have really good stopping distance as well because of those compounds. So if that's something that you prioritize, the Pilot Sport family, all season four or the 4S is a good choice. And a few of you, does anybody out here have the um, uh, track package for their Model 3 with the Cup 2s? No, no. So we have a track tire that you can put on there if you want to take it out and track. It's called the Pilot Sport Cup 2. That's our ultimate track day tire. It's DOT legal, so you can drive it to the track and back. It has a 140 UTQG rating, but we have that option as well. And, and we, oops, did I hit that? My bad. Uh, you know, we also have to cover the complete portfolio. We have a winter offering. It's our excise snow. So if that's something uh, that you uh, want to have, we have the range from summer, all season, all weather, all the way down to winter. So, you know, um, one of the things that, that we've noticed is that people buy electric vehicles for different reasons. I enjoy it because they're fun, I enjoy the power, I enjoy the handling. For that, that's what the pilot, pilot sport family is. It's for those people that drove it because it's a high performance, that bought it because it's a high performance vehicle and they love it. Others, you're looking for it because it just makes good sense. And so if that's what you're looking for and you're looking to optimize the overall life of the tire, um, we have the cross climate family and on into the pilot sport family, all into the defender family. And so we understand, we, we've been coming around talking to Tesla consumers for a while. We work with, with electric vehicle manufacturers and what we know is that at the end of the day, there's still a variety of wants and needs for tires. And so our goal is to design a portfolio of tires where at least one of those meets your needs. Carl and I, we're gonna be here uh, t tomorrow. We'll be here a little bit today. Come by and talk to us. And our goal is to help you find the right tire for you. Or answer any other technical questions you may have or product related, please come by and see us. Yeah. And we're also, just if you come by, we have a QR code. If you scan that QR code, you have a chance to win a set of tires for this weekend. So only people here today and tomorrow will be eligible. So really good odds of winning a set of tires. So thank you and look forward to seeing you.